Hey, what's up, guys? This is the emissary, and today I'm going to show you how to create a looper in Ableton using follow actions and the Novation Launchpad. All right, first of all, I'm going to grab a break. Okay, sounds good. It's already been warped, so everything's right on beat, as you can see. <clears throat> Just drag it into place in the audio track. Now what we want to do is click on the launch button down here. On quantization, we're going to change it from global to 1 16th, so that whenever you launch the clip, it will play at the nearest sixteenth note. Then what we're going to do is set up a follow action. We're going to go to zero and then two here. This corresponds to a sixteenth note. Then down here we're going to click next. What this means is when we launch the clip it will play at the nearest sixteenth note. Then once, once that sixteenth note has passed it will play the next clip. So let's launch it and see how it works. Now what we want to do is have the next clip play the next section of the loop. So we're going to duplicate that. Everything's still the same, but we're going to take the start and we're going to drag it over a sixteenth. Just keep doing that. Move it over here. Duplicate. There. Duplicate. There. Yeah, now when we launch it, it's going to play the whole loop. What's interesting is that now we can restructure the beat on any 16th note we want by clicking on either of these, uh, any of these clips we've created. One idea that I sometimes use is to take the first clip and change the quantization to a half a bar because uh, when you're playing in a musical context, it, hel it helps keep things in line. So let me turn on the metronome. So I'm going to show you how that looks like on the launch pad. It's really fun and it gives you plenty of visual feedback from the native uh, support. You don't need Max for Life or anything like that. Now I'm going to go to a few loops that I've created already, and it's really great to play several of them in a row. I'm going to launch this scene here. And you don't have to uh, just do drums. 
Uh, I think this sounds particularly good on vocals. If you want a glitchy vocal sound, um, here's a rap from a Chemical Brothers tune. And of course, if you don't have a launch pad, you can still use this technique. Um, you can assign the clips to keys on your keyboard to any other MIDI controller you have, however you want to do it. Thanks, hope you've enjoyed.